can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, you Daddy. Are? I've always known it. I love you too. Say it again, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. 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 Huh? Inside of Rachel Foster, part dos. How's it going, everybody? My name is Nick, otherwise known as Blank Wannabe 95, and welcome back to the suicide of Rachel Foster. I realize YouTube doesn't like that word, but I'm also not getting paid right now, so I'm just gonna go morning. with it. Mm. Good morning, Nicole. Just a moment. <sighs> get any sleep? Uh, like a rock. Suddenly out. Suddenly out cold. Yeah, let's do that. I was wide awake for hours, then suddenly darkness. <sighs> so? Any news? Uh, uh, what? The weather? <laughs> Are you snoozing? Irving, Nicole, stranded up here. You snoozing? After a night of incomplete crossword puzzles, I wish I was. <laughs> Wait, you didn't sleep? Like, at all? I thought you might need something and- But, I, you didn't go home? Because of me? I'm a workaholic. Yeah, sounds like it. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon, probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory, uh, what do you want to do? Uh... Hey, let's do this I'm one. not ready for this kind of news at the crack of dawn. I'll eat, and then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. Uh, I have to yeah. survive. I need to get something in my stomach or I won't make it out of here alive. You'll be forever grateful for baked beans. Baked beans. Okay, so let me pause here before he has another call. Uh, Finish off my little intro, you know? I could have just left it paused, but whatever. Uh, Anywho, so I, uh, I mean, wearing the same shirt. Normally, I do all my recordings in one day. It's very rare that I do a recording another day, just because it's very convenient for my time schedule to just record them all in one big go. So I am recording this right after the other one. I was just going to record one this week, but I still have enough time before I have to go to work. Um, so I was like, you know what? This is really interesting. Um, I'm only going to have two videos if I don't record another video because the hour and a half long one decided to or a two hour one decided to corrupt on me. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, record a second one. So that's why I'm here. Because I'm really wanting to get more into this game. Because it's really fascinating. Um, that was pretty much all I left to say. It wasn't very long. So let's just get uh, going. It wouldn't be storage, would it? No. Nicole? Irving, uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? I'd just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Hmm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. Pretty sure. I'm more concerned about the bacterial world. A mouse ain't my ideal of a roommate. <laughs> uh, let's do the top one. I was thinking more like mold, bacteria, and such. Um... Kitchen. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. Fridge. For a while, I hid an ant farm in the closet. Kitchen. I think Leonard suggested uh, it. One morning, my, my bed was swarming with ants. You must have freaked Here's out. Kitchen. My mother did. The oh. ant farm ended up straight in the trash. Nope. Your career as an entomologist uh, nipped in the bud. I mean, that's the. Didn't fridge, think I still remembered all these little things. So. Huh. Maybe through here. Moldy food. There's some food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. Yeah, I'll just keep uh, wandering around looking at different things. Uh, this is the freezer, right? Ooh. Why do I feel like I'm about to get locked in here? Cool, soup. Oh, yep. Yeah. 
Hey. How'd I know that was gonna you happen? Kidding? Oh, of course. Uh. What? Oh, uh, I almost forgot. There might be a problem with the fridge door. Just make sure it doesn't close. Are you close. fucking with me? I didn't no. click that. Wait, what did I say? It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, holy shit. I'm a freaking space cadet. Well, you did yeah. say you didn't get enough sleep. I could sleep. have died in there. <laughs> Come on, man. Give him a break. By the way, these these uh, kinds of... I don't know if any of you guys have ever used these kinds of dishwashers. They're kind of neat. Um, I uh, worked at a fast food place called Culver's uh, for a few years. Uh, my first job for like three years. And I use those a lot. Um, they're pretty cool. Alright, so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna cook the food. Which... Uh, dirty dish? Okay. Do I need a pot? Is that what I'm looking for? What am I looking for? Uh, doesn't say what I'm looking for. The microwave could be useful to heat the beans. Or not! Considering that, oh, I don't know, it's a tin can? Are you about to blow up the microwave, you dummy? Is it not gonna blow up? Hello? Am I just gonna hang out? You going for the whole realism aspect? Oh, there we go. Food! Oh, two minute microwave. So I guess it's a microwave safe can. I wonder what's made out of though. All right, cool. Uh-huh. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. Okay. Uh, when's he getting here? I'm only taking good news. <sighs> I'm only taking good news today. Otherwise, let me eat. Up to you. Thought you'd like to know. Oh, come on. He <laughs> called 911 after just a mile. Uh, I'll well, I might as well finish the inspection. I can do it without Jenkins. Uh, he told me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word, and you don't need to hear it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most damaged. Please, Fair. only call me if you've got good news. But then... What? You should also know about the bad news. Whatever. You know best, I guess. Uh, so am I just looking around? Irving suggests to inspect the second floor first. Yeah. I mean, I know those broke off. Should I inspect those? I'm on the second floor, aren't I? Oh, wait. There's another floor above me, which is the attic and museum. Okay, so I need to go upstairs one more. Where are the stairs? Nope, not in there. Apparently not in there either. Where's the stairs? Stairs! Oh, here they are. Oh, that, that reflection on the wolf made me think that the eye was glowing for a minute. 
Um, ooh, a teddy phono. Okay, uh, yeah, so I'm on the second floor. Why am I reporting the There's light? There's some serious water stains oh, on the second never mind. floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage, too. Yeah. So I'm just sitting here telling him everything I see, I guess. Is my monitor messed up? Because it's doing a weird thing. I don't know if you guys are... It doesn't look like you guys are seeing it. I wonder if my monitor is having issues. I really hope not. Because if you guys aren't seeing it, I feel like it's got to be my monitor. But that worries me. Outlet missing. Whoa. Did I say something to inspect? No, I guess not. Man, this is just depressing. What's going on with my monitor? Whatever. It has nothing to do with the video, so... Some of the lights are out. Broken window. Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the West Wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Yeah, definitely Hello? just my monitor. You there? You always have an answer to everything. What do you mean? Tell me something. What are you hiding from me? I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Is hmm. something wrong? I don't know. I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? None. I... I'm sorry if I upset you. No one can upset me. I better keep doing the inspection. Yeah? Who's calling? Hello? Who is this? Who the hell are you? Yeah. Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? Who is this? Don't do anything stupid. Hit. What? That's you think fair. you can call my that house like and threaten me? Say. Come tell me to my face, asshole. I don't think he's threatening you, but eh, you do you, boo. He could be, but I don't think so. Well, that, that's, uh, not normal. You pissed at me? Uh, I don't different. have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. 
What? Who? No. <laughs> Secret admirer. No. No idea. It, it was a bad connection. W what did they want? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. No, it said Rachel's still <sighs> there. Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. They break my balls, what? I didn't know FEMA had FBI authority. Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. Oh, it looks like my, my monitor's fixed. That's creepy. What do you mean? Sounds creepy. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, the genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked, every one of them. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck them. Damn! Good. Alrighty. Um, jeez. Oh, Why are these days jump scaring me? Uncompleted 360 flip. Hey, cutie pie. Daddy? Nicole, it's Irving. Oh, <sighs> sorry. I haven't slept like that for ages. Uh, were there sleeping pills in the beans? Must have been sleeping <laughs> pills in those beans. Since I've been here, it's like I'm literally hibernating. You had a tough day yesterday. I think I had a dream. About? I don't remember. I, I don't remember. Okay, uh, I need you to pay attention, though. Is it going to be good news? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Uh. Oh, I wonder why that doesn't surprise me. The electricity generator could go bust. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We need to do something. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. Slightly. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. <laughs> Where's the hitch? Too easy. Where's the hitch? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But? The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. All right. What do I have to do? Uh, check the closet in your father's apartment and see if he left anything you can use for lighting. Oh, father's apartment? On my way. Is that, that... That's not the master suite, is it? Uh, father's apartment. Where's father's apartment? Um... Hey. Okay, almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need staff to move floor. fast. Here we go. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. Can't see shit, Captain. What a professional tone. Yeah, I use it when I want to make a good impression. <laughs> You're the only human being I can interact with while I'm hostage here. Whatever you say will impress me. Storage. What okay. happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to go down to the breaker box and switch it on. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. Hi, I left you the dynamo flashlight. You'll have to work a little, make some light. Ha ha, Ben. All right. Flashlight. Definitely pick him out of. I found the crawl space. And also, a dynamo flashlight. Know how to use it? I think I just have to push the lever continuously. Is everything okay? 
Oh, I don't remember. It was so narrow. Claustrophobia. When I was a kid, I used to crawl through tunnels like a mouse. But the crawl space seems so narrow now. Maybe you gained weight. <laughs> It's called growing up. Idiot. You don't say that to a woman. Rude. What? Oh, that's my controller. Shit. What's wrong? Your prophecy came true. The power went out. It's completely dark. Pitch black. Uh, okay, stay calm. Uh, can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Uh, anyway, there should be some cables along the- uh, Yeah, I know what a bundle <sighs> is. Okay, okay. Easy does it. All you need to do is follow them and you'll get to the generator room. Don't go any other way, otherwise who knows where you'll end up. Perfect. I got the flashlight, sorta. I got my breadcrumb trail, more like my cable trail, whatever. I can do it. All right, yep, easy. Does it. Cool, nailed it. Can I open the grating? What? There we go, just took a minute. ask you something okay uh go ahead how long has the hotel been closed uh, about four years uh, yeah from 89 I mean did anyone think about doing a thorough oh, clean so of the it's basement 93? don't know uh, probably pretty rushed why I found something another Polaroid a lipstick huh doesn't <laughs> that seem weird it's a uh, lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. Weird. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been, I, I don't know, nine or ten years. Rachel's still there. Strange someone should wait ten years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? <sighs> You're an idiot, Are Irving. you crazy? Nicole, it's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... Well... Yeah. You're probably right. No. I don't think he is. I think he's probably wrong. Oh my goodness, stop jump scaring me with days. It is getting a bit creepier, which is cool. Whoa, why did I wake up here? <clears throat> Reporting is ordered, sir. You awake? Sorta. You forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Uh, Pastor Foster, okay. Lipstick, Leonard's Book. Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me no. finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. What do you mean? You went through his stuff. Uh, what are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Yeah, like on. somebody's there with you. Rachel is dead. That's what everyone says. But maybe the story deserves a second pass. There are too many gray areas. 
How long ago Look, did she supposedly the die? The storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing, like you did ten years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. <laughs> I'm not busy at the moment. I want to follow my instinct. I haven't done it in so long, and it feels like things don't add up here. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <sighs> All right, let's go hunt some bees then. Okay, wall clues. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? Uh, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was M.T. Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, I know, it's not a very reliable source. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. Are we sure she did I thought I was the skeptical one here. Rachel's death. Let's do the book. Hey. I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel, or Rachel is sad, or Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. Hmm. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? You're that As if he saw alive. her. Yeah. Well, I mean, I there think she must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. Okay. Okay, lipstick. Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. It doesn't smell. Should it? After they've yeah. been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Maybe there's been other women. I mean... Uh, yeah, yeah sure. sure. Leonard ruined his life over a 16-year-old, became a recluse, lost everything, and in the meantime, he supposedly had another lover, maybe even two. 16-year-old? Um, could the cold have preserved it? Possibly. Are you saying he cheated with us? Anything else? Is that what happened? Because if so, that's messed up. You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. He was a very strict man. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. Back in the day, I thought he was a kind of reptilian with a human skin suit. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter. Possibly. Hey, no, no. But even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just saying. Uh, right. Like, I think you're freaking this guy out. Mm, Rachel's death. I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Uh, yeah, that was the official version. 
Okay. How is that put into question, though? Does that have to do with the... So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay. Well, I'll hear you out. Okay. I'd say that's enough. Yeah. That's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? I know exactly what happened. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. Any objections? You don't need my approval. True. Good job. True. You're getting the hang of it. But, sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. Yeah, it's well. a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard-headed like your father. <laughs> Trust me, at least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need it. Agent Crawford? Day five. This bit of advice. <sighs> I'll follow it to oh. the tea. I didn't make a meat yard. That's messed up. Wait, am I going to bed now? Okay. Yep, day five. Is she really dead? I do think she's actually dead. Um, but I think her ghost is trying to make you figure out that she didn't kill herself. Also, I really am starting to think that her father cheated on her mother with a 16-year-old. And then the 16-year-old is now dead. Hey, cutie pie. How are you? Daddy? Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. Yeah, why? What's you going You came on? back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Uh... Daddy, I missed you so much. I Their thought light you is alive, you and it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand. I, I can't see you, Daddy. Please. Listen, sweet bee. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, you Daddy. Are? I've always known it. I love you, too. Say it again, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. 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 Huh? That was the whole day? Did I sleep the whole day? I'm confuzzled. Alright, before she has a phone call, I'm gonna end this episode here. Again, it's kind of going at a slow pace, but honestly, I'm kind of enjoying it. It's keep, it's uh, still interesting. It's still keeping you on your toes, wondering what's going on, trying to figure out the mystery. But it's not rushing into horror stuff. It's letting you build up the environment, build up the story, before it just goes, bah, you know? And that's assuming it's going to do that. For all I know, it's not going to do anything like that. I don't know. This could just be plain and simple a mystery story game. Uh, who knows? But either way uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you did please consider checking out some of our other content and if you like some of our other content please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell that way you're notified within three to five business days of any time we upload uh and eventually uh we will go back to four episodes a week four videos a week when damien returns whenever that ends up being but until then it's going to be between two and three episodes a week which this won't be the third one for this week um so if we are keeping you interested, please consider sticking around. Uh, we are still consistently uploading. But nonetheless, I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.